So today I'm actually trying to figure out how, uh, how high that thing is. Yep, it's, uh, pretty high. Yeah. See that little Y right there? That's what I want to figure out. I'm actually quite jealous of the neighbor's tree. Right, so in a normal video about using an astrolabe, you would try to measure maybe a star, or maybe a planet, maybe the height of a building. They use astrolabes for uh, multiple things. Uh -oh. I'm gonna use it to measure a twig. Okay, so one of the first steps into creating the astrolabe is I'm going to do a little research, which in conducting that research, I also found out it's pronounced astrolabe. I don't know. Maybe to find out how to build one. I'm going to look for templates. Maybe some college level templates. <laughs> Okay, so I found some useful information. I found out I'm going to need a printer to print your astrolabe kit. Lab. Three sheets of thin card or paper. A sheet of transparent plastic, like acetate. Scissors. Glue. A split pen fastener and a short piece of ribbon or string. Cool, so I just got back from Target. They had just about everything I needed, minus a couple things, but I will make do. Okay, do a little unpackaging. I got the, uh, the paper fasteners, rubber cement, cardstock, already unpackaged that. And as far as making do, I got tracing paper. So I found the template that I'm going to use and now I gotta send it through the printer. Step one. So I printed off my things. Mother front, mother back. These two are actually going to go together, but I want them to be thick so I can use this later on in life. So I'm going to put extra. And this is where the rubber cement comes in. Okay, so I took the rubber cement and I placed it in between the two mothers and put the mothers together and now the mothers are now one giant mother so this is where the acetate would have came in or the transparent piece of plastic um but like i said i would make do and uh it printed just fine so there are two components called the label and the rule uh those are these little guys that are going to go on the astrolab the rule is the one marked with the declination scale these little guys right here, and the label. And I had to find out how to pronounce this one, and I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Riti. The Riti. So this is the Riti. It um, actually has the right ascension along the edge, and it also has some constellations on the inside. Okay, I can kind of see why they wanted this to be transparent, but, I mean, hey, you can kind of still see through it. Right? Right? Okay, so one self-explanatory thing that they did not tell me to do is to get a hole punch. I need a hole. So what I did is I just grabbed this pen. So I'm gonna make a hole. Well, I sort of made a hole, but I, in the process I Okay, so we'll try a little bit better making the holes in this. Just gotta hope that the holes match up and that their template is not poop. Okay, found a safety pin. Now I have to make them all kind of go together. And that's what this little guy is for. 100 count. Shame I only needed one. It's like day five and I'm here and the, the stem is still there. I anticipated 
not to know. So whenever I decided I finally wanted to do the Astrolab, I was trying to figure out, okay, so what am I going to make it with? Um, I did a little research and I found out that the original Astrolabs were actually made out of brass. I'm not that much of an overachiever. So I thought, what's the next best thing I can do? Maybe wood? And then I thought, I'm a broke college kid. What's the next best thing? And that's where the paper came in. Gotta love this stuff. It's cheap, affordable, yet you still get broke from buying it. All I need to do next is uh, take a hole puncher and then some ribbon. And that way, whenever you're using it, you let it hang. And I'll show you how to do this later. It's finally complete. The Astrolab. I have the ribbon. I got a little hook for it. Now, I'll show you how to use it in class. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, thank you. If not, I'm sorry, I guess you have no choice.